Hog Rider is one of the most versatile minis in Clash Mini, but only if you know how to fully utilize his abilities and synergies. So let me tell you how pro players actually use Hog Rider to get to the top of the leaderboard. But first, we gotta establish that the Hog Rider is a backline disruption unit. He stuns the backline minis at the start and also tanks some damage to buy time for your minis, but you can't treat him like an assassin, like the Miner or the Wave Master Flip. Those can do serious damage but your Hog Rider can't. So I will only use him at later rounds when the enemy showed all of their minis so you know they don't have a prince or a fisherman or when you're down to your last life and you need that surprise factor. And if you are targeting the ranged hero, make sure that they have already moved it so the enemy cannot escape it anymore. There is one exception to this though. You can Hog Rider the ranged hero in rounds one or two to bait them to move their hero away. So after you find out their locked position, you snipe them with another class ability or vice versa. You also gotta see if the enemy has specialist class because that can cancel Hog Rider's stun and they could also have P.E.K.K.A. which if placed at the back can wreck your Hog Rider in two shots. In terms of where you place him, go for the first row for the maximum value if you are sure the enemy doesn't have prints but if they haven't showed all their hands I wouldn't risk for a quick win instead go for the second row and aim your target at the top part of the Hog Rider's plus shape and don't place them any further back because stunning melee minis isn't that impactful. In terms of upgrading, it, it depends. The first star is definitely the best, then it's the third star to buy you some more time, but obviously not if you're going for a double whammy with another mini like the minor or the prince, and I would never really go for the second star. Hulk Rider is in the clan and the rider class. I will at least incorporate one of these classes in my deck. For example, a prince would be great for the rider synergy, and some decks with him could be for clan minis with arch queen or for a rider minis with a C class or with Royal Champion. He also works very well with minis that take time to ramp up, like the Dark Goblin or the Stealer, because Hog Rider is excellent at buying time for those minis to ramp up. To explain the next section, let me give you a quiz. How would the Arch Queen be displaced if the Hog Rider hops onto him like that? To the front, back, left or right? The answer is to the back. And you might think this is niche, use this information, but this is actually coming very handy if you have another backline infiltration mini and you need to know if your Hog Rider will be isolated to get the heals and also for the monk or a magic archer pierce. So what if the back is covered? Then it alternates in each side. Unless one side is covered, then obviously it'll go to the other side. If both sides are covered, it'll go to the front. And if all adjacent sides are blocked, it'll alternate the back corner corners and then the front corners. Before I move on to the most important section, I want to give a huge thank you to Rosa, Music and Pre for the guide. This video would be impossible without them, their twitters are in the description. But now we have his interactions with other clash abilities. You have to memorize these to know for sure if your Hog Rider will hit. Hog Rider can cancel Bowler, he can block a Spirit Goblin shot at 5 tiles away. At 4 tiles away, Hog Rider will either tank the Spirit Goblin shot or just completely make it disappear it's all down to luck. At 3 tiles away, Spirit Goblin will hit whatever is behind the Hog Rider. He can stop the Miner if he jumps directly on the Miner's tile. The Prince can only stop the Hog Rider if he's right in front of him. Dark Prince, Fisherman, Storm Wizard and Apprentice Monk all have a quicker clash ability so they can override Hog Rider. Hog Rider can't stop Lumberjack Clash or a Wave Master Clash. Now in terms of tiles, he works great on a stun tile to stun the backline even more. And there's also the Devil's Steel, and that could be a lot of damage. And he can heal up using the third star anyway. He's also great on the heal tile to buy even more damage for your other minis. And also on the curse tile to chip away the ranged minis HP even more. He's also great at countering minis on the Devil's Steel or Mirror or Curse tile because that makes them easier to kill. And I have no idea where to put this, so it's going here. He's also an excellent counter to Sailor. If your Hog Rider jumps directly behind her, you can make her jump forward when attacking the Hog Rider using her super, and that'll just get her more exposed to your front line. And if you don't have Hog Rider and you want tips to get it, um, good luck.